what is up YouTube, that's it here, bringing you part 2 of our Persona Q Shadow of the Labyrinth Let's Play. We are right about to go into the Velvet Room here where we ended episode 1, and uh, yeah, let's hop right into it. It's through here. Through here, here we go. Please be careful. As I feared, it is somewhat unstable. Yeah, making the whole Velvet Room into the size of like a little tent would be something that would be relatively unstable. unstable? Time. It's unstable. Hmm. Okay. Maybe because they're dealing with clocks. What's the wind, senpai? All right, here we go. And eventually, you know, gameplay will happen. <laughs> it's like I like listening to all the dialogue and stuff, but gameplay will happen eventually. Hopefully, definitely, maybe. All right, into the darkness. Okay. Okay. It does seem rather large. <laughs> oh, that's such a good face. I think we're in a cutscene right now. What is yeah, I think I'm in a cutscene. It's all like broken and stuff. And what are these doors? Well, they're yellow and blue, so it might be P4 and P3 have to like unite to open the door. That's what I'm thinking it might be. Two doors and four locks. What could these four be? locks? That might be weird. They weren't originally here. No, it was a small room, easily filled by a desk and a chair. Hmm. There wasn't space for doors such as these, naturally. Could the room have changed because I brought you all here? That might be it. What do you mean? Stop saying weird things. Can we leave? I say we get out of here for now. Huh? <laughs> what exit? Oh, more bells. Okay. That was clearer than before. We may have been summoned. By who? I'd like to investigate this for a while. If you find something, please call for me. I wonder how we do that. Huh? We should head out too, Senpai. I want to check out what's in there more. Uh, now we actually get a cutscene. Here we go. Cutscene time. Still the festival. This is pretty good art. I think this is pretty good art. Like, I actually like the, uh, you know, the regular anime art better, but like, this is still pretty cute. Oh shit, clock tower. Alright. I do not remember that being a fixture there. Oh, is everything just huh. different? Are things picking up one last time before the post festival? Oh, right! There was somewhere I wanted to go! Yosuke, please accompany this pitiful bear! <laughs> Once the post festival event starts, all the displays will wrap up. So go check them out now if you want to see. Fine. Where do you want to go? The Cosplay Cafe! Of course. Like hell. It's okay. I just need your wallet to accompany me. Of course. That's something you would do. Dude, if I'm the one paying, then I'll check out the cosplays too. Pretty Get much. Back here. The cosplay cafe is the one on the third. Wasn't that where the boys are dressing up as girls? That's such a P4 thing to do. Please, no more cross-dressing talk. Yep. Be more confident, Kanji-kun. You looked great. It was enough to keep me in a good mood for a while. <laughs> you didn't win the pageant, but you really livened up the show. I'm sure everyone will never forget it. Yep, I won't. <sighs> wow, she poured salt right into those wounds. <laughs> salt City. Why don't we go too? I bet Teddy's getting them riled up anyway, so maybe we better check on them. Yeah, let's go. Oh, I wonder where, like... I guess we are going to the cosplay Doesn't cafe. Does something seem off? It's that clock tower. The atmosphere here seems... <sighs> In any case, let's go. Oh, we maybe it's the school separate... from, like... Like, ten years ago or something, before they got here. Huh. Like, they said there used to be a clock tower here, remember? Look, outside the window. 
You see it. There it is. There's a clock tower in the middle of the Yasugami schoolyard. What's going on here? Anyway, let's head to where the others went. We can investigate mm. it later. I think I'm right. I think this is like past version of this school. I think it has to be. Because that was the time that the clock tower was there. I don't know. We'll see. Alright. Yes! Yes! Alright, might as well just save the game. There we go. Save Arena. This music sounds amazing, by the way. Save complete E4. Alright. Go into that cosplay cafe. Here we go. Alright. Third floor in front of the cosplay cafe. You in Wonderland. Hmm. Huh. What gives? There's no cosplay cafe here. Oh man, I think my theory might be right. Huh? Was I only dreaming? I remember it saying cosplay cafe in the pamphlet though. Maybe there was a last minute change. Hmm. Why don't we try going in? Huh? You're into this stuff? Come on, she's a detective. I bet she'd masqueraded as others before cosplay was a thing. <laughs> well, I mean, she's kinda in like, in a bit of a dress up right now. More importantly, Senpai, may I ask you to open this door on my queue? <laughs> you got it. I'm glad you catch on quickly. She's gonna like, but oh my gosh, the gun! What the fuck? Whoa, why are you pulling out your weapon here? Three, two, one, go. And they're just gonna mess him up. Oh, she was right. Oh my gosh, fight scene time. Here we go. Finally, we get a fight scene. Maybe. Dang it. That's inside the cosplay cafe, huh? Should have been. Based on a children's story, it must have been a lot of work. It's pretty similar to Alice in Wonderland. Please search this area with your persona. Whoa, wait a sec. We're at school. I can't summon it here. That doesn't look like school Why to me. Are you making me call out for no reason? This is so awkward. Humor me. Uh, fine, if you insist. But don't blame me if this gets weird, okay? <laughs> Persona! What? It worked! I knew it. Are we inside the TV? Yeah, that's where they can usually only ever use personas in the TV. I don't see any fog here. Hold on. I'm sensing shadows up ahead. One, two, tons of them. Some really strong. Oh man, I can't wait to go to a fight scene. <laughs> Alright. Ah, come on! There were shadows around. There's no way I wouldn't sniff them out. Hmm. Hmm. See, tons of them. <laughs> the shadows are actually here. Pretty much. Whoa! There really are shadows here. Oh, what should we do? Little more. You're right. Standing around here won't do us any good. Okay. I'll back you guys up from here, then. Huh? Then I'm staying behind, too. <laughs> Are you volunteering for bodyguard duty? That's so sweet of you, Kanji. Shut up. I don't want to hear any complaints for shadow attacks. I'm just kidding. I think it's because well, you only have so many people on a team. Out here with Kanji. Sorry, but I'm going to investigate elsewhere. Yep. There's something else that's caught my attention. As long as Yosuke's on my team, oh, that's all I want. Sure. I'll go with Naoto then. No! Nothing to worry about with my partner there. Leave it to me. Wait for our report, got it? Fine. Okay, let's meet back where we just came in. Or could it be? Alright. Help. Menu screen. Press the X button to open the menu screen. You can use item skills and view your party status. Alright. 
L and R buttons are strafe. We're in the basis of moving. Up, down, move. Alright, okay. You in Wonderland! Whoa, this is weird. Alright, well, these are the people on my team? Let's check out some skills. I have Zeo, Electric Attack, Sleeper Punch. Chance of Sleep? Alright, that's pretty good. Ice Attack, and uh, Zeo, right? Aha! My healer, my ice person, my... Alright, alright, this is how it's gonna go. We got Cloud, we got Tifa, we have uh, Ice Person, and we got Hewer. Easy, Final Fantasy VII, same game. Got any equipment? Golf Club! <laughs> okay. Spiky Punch, alright, alright, we got some items, we got some statuses. Everyone's level 1. You guys cannot blame me for checking this out. I want to know all this stuff just as much as you guys do. System. What the heck does this mean? Okay, it's like a mo it's like Pokedex. Okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. Can I save here? No, I cannot save here. All right, we have we're ready to go. Okay, this is freaking me out. It's like a map that I don't get. Am I selecting the start buttons or anything? Nope. Okay, okay, USA. Hey, we're checking this one out. Alright, this is this is freaking different. Oh, I know. Medicine! We got some potions. It's weird how they don't say all of the text sometimes. Alright, we're still here. Oh my gosh, is that an enemy over there? That's just a weird thing. Oh! Alright, wild battle. Here we go. First battle of the game. Shadows. Hit him with something they're weak against. We strike their weaknesses. A fighting won't even break. Break a sweat. Uh, that's perfect. Now here we gotta find out what their weaknesses are. When fighting shadows, it is important to attack using elements that they're weak against. Attacking with an element that an enemy is weak against will put the attacker in a boosted state. A boosted character has two advantage. Attacks first in the next turn. Skill cost drop to zero. Weaknesses will differ depending on the enemy. Try using different attacks on them to try and find their weaknesses. I have no... Let's let's mix it up. This one just heals. All right, that's some damage. All right, we can heal the next turn. Oh my gosh, we're just taking so much damage. Leave me alone, please. All right, it's weak against uh, that. It's weak against electric. It's weak against that punch, and it's asleep. We take those. Teddy is attacking. All right, so they're not weak against ice. So I mean, I would have liked you to check out the enemy, like immediately. You can see information about enemy shadows by pressing L button to analyze them. All right. That enemy is weak against bash attacks. Bash attacks. Okay. I don't understand how this like works yet. At least it looks like they're waiting for me though. Yeah, they're not gonna like attack without me being ready. I didn't know that. <laughs> it's my weeder skill. Huh, that's weird. Yeah, I think it costs Yeah, cool, they're weak against it. Alright. Let's hit this one. And we know that they're weak against stuff. That's a waste. And we're in a skill. We're in a heal pro tag. And Zeo costs less because we're in like a boosted state. Awesome. Oh, 120! <laughs> ah, Liam. Alright, we got that heals. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a big heal. Alright, there's just one enemy left. We can just all attack this one. 
Uh, yeah, you know what? Let's heal again. Let's heal Chie this time. Damage. Damage. Ugh. So it looks like Teddy is actually like the slowest person in our party because he always attacks last, but he does get the killing blow. I wonder if killing blow uh, rewards more experience. Because he was the one that said something at the end. I got some items. Alright, we're learning the combat mechanics here. And Hold on, Senpai. let's see. I said something that's not a shadow. It Whoa. looks like someone's here. Someone else is here. I do not know where, but I do know that we have completed our first battle, and in the next episode, we are going to go try and find uh, someone. So, hopefully you guys like this uh, Let's Play for Sony Q Shadow of the Labyrinth. Let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out.